Hey everybody, what's up? Today we're going to be playing around with some Mega Squirt stuff. Specifically, we're going to be setting up and enabling flat shift. So, for those of you who do not know what flat shift is, it's a super cool feature that the Mega Squirt can do. And basically, um, we're going to be able to shift gears without removing our right foot from the gas pedal. So basically you can be in any gear, let's say gear 2, we're going to floor it till a certain RPM, we're going to put the clutch in, we're going to shift gears, and then remove the clutch without moving my right foot. So it's super cool, um, it's so much faster than regular shifting, you don't have to wait for the boost to build up after you've kind of let it off, and it sounds cool, and overall it's just a, it's a cool feature that you can use, you don't always have to use it. Um, but basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up, um, kind of all the settings, how to get to it in the tuning software, and then towards the end we'll go for a little test drive and I'll show you how it works and how it sounds. Alright, so before we go ahead and wire everything in, we do have to replace one of the switches, and that is going to be the clutch switch. So this just goes under the dash into a metal bracket, and it's basically just a little on-off switch that your clutch pedal depresses every time you use it. Um, in stock form, uh, it is not what we want, so we have to replace it. Um, this here is a uh, switch from the brake pedal. Um, you can get them on Rock Auto, you can get them from a different car, but basically the reason why we're switching it is because the clutch pedal and the brake pedal are the same switch, but they're opposite. Um, it's a little hard to explain, I'm not going to go too much into it, but all you have to know is you need to get the switch from a brake pedal and not the clutch pedal. Um, this is the old one, I already installed the new one, I'll try to show you where it is. But if we take a look up here, underneath the dash, you can kind of see it right around this area it's just that black plastic thing and it's just basically an on off switch for when the brake pedal is pressed and when it's depressed and with that all finished up now we can move on to the wiring um, I'll show you that over here it's gonna be very similar to how to hook up two-step um, so I actually have this other switch here as well you don't really need this um, but it's basically like a breaker so when this is off you don't have two-step, you don't have flat shift, and when this is on, it enables both of them, but it won't work until the clutch pedal is pushed. Um, so I'll quickly kind of go over how it works. It's going to be pin 9 on the gray connector on the back of the gold box. That's going to come around here, the wire. It's going to go up the center console to one side of this on-off switch, and then the other side of this on-off switch is going to go back down over the pedals, it's going to connect to one side of that clutch switch that I just showed you. And then the other side of that clutch switch, there's two spades. The other side just goes to ground. So I grounded it on the firewall and that's all of the wiring. That's all you need. So now with that done, I'll get my laptop set up and I'll show you how to kind of program it in and all of the settings. All right, so I have Tuner Studio open here. The car is on and the ECU is connected. Uh, I'm going to do my best to kind of show you here. My screen is very glossy, so it's a little hard to see, but I will show you exactly where you need to go. So this is just the main screen. We're going to go up to Advanced Engine, just over here at the top, and we're going to scroll down to Launch and Two-Step, and then this is going to be your menu. Um, what you're going to want to do first is just at the top here, it's going to be your like on and off. So if you have it off, it will be this. If you want launch control, you want this one. And then if you want launch and flat shift, we want the, uh, the bottom one. So that's what we're gonna click. Uh, this next section here is just going to be the pin that you're using. So if you're using pin nine, like I said, that's gonna be the launch control pin. And you just wanna make sure you have launch selected. Um, if you have a different pin selected, you can just find it. And that's all you need to do there. This first half, of the uh, menu is going to be just your two-step um, and then if we go down here to flat shift so this is what we're going to be playing with there's a few easy um, settings that we have to punch in but that's about it uh, the very first one is going to be the speed sensor in which you want it to be engaged at um, so basically anything underneath this number is uh, flat shift won't work um, I just have mine set at 15 miles per hour. Um, if you want it to work in first gear, just make sure your speed that that works at is not going to interfere with that. Um, the next one is going to be the arming RPM. So this is what mine's just at 3500 RPM. Uh, I think you just have to set it 
above what your two-step is. So below 3500 RPM is two-step, uh, two and then above 3500 RPM is flat shift. The next setting is going to be the hard limit for flat shift. This is basically your new red line. So when you put the clutch in and your foot is floored um, all the way, 5500 RPM is going to be the max RPM that flat shift hits. It's basically a red line. You can set this to whatever you want. I just have mine set at 5500 RPM. The next one, very similar to two step, is going to be the timing. Mine's at five degrees. You don't want this as uh, aggressive as your two step because you're not trying to make as much noise and pops as you want. Um, you could totally make it go more negative and it's going to be more aggressive. Mine's just at five degrees. I might go a little bit lower, but five has been pretty good. And then finally, we just have this fuel cut. Um, I was told you don't really need this, so it's, it's just set at 15,000. Um, basically, it means it's not being used. And that is all you need for flat shift. Very simple. And we're going to go ahead and close this up. We'll go for a drive when there's less traffic, and I'll show you exactly how it sounds and how it works. Well, hopefully you enjoyed those uh, flat shift clips there. They were super fun to record. Um, it's actually been a couple weeks since I've uh, recorded anything, so it's much colder now. It's the middle of fall, and the cooler temperatures have an uh, impact on the performance, especially I noticed with the new tune. Um, the car definitely pulls harder, and the flat shifts are a little bit more intense, I would say, with the uh, added power, but still very fun. Um, forget if I mentioned before, but um, there is performance improvements with this. It's not just something that, you know, is a gimmick. Um, it does hold boost between shifts. For me, it's about 7 or 8 PSI, and you definitely feel it in the acceleration. Um, but it's still kind of just a little fun feature. You don't got to use it all the time. You know, you can turn it off if you never want to use it, shift normally. But it is cool, and um, everybody who's been in the car with it says it's a crazy feeling, and I agree. Um, but yeah, uh, if you have a Mega Squirt system, it's not hard to set it up. I would give it a try. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.